Oh yeah, oh boy, this shit bangin' Walkin' through the town like sheriff Niggas on around, come to play Ayy, iced out bags on the toast Hello everybody, my name is Pixie and I'm finally back making a new video. So what we're gonna do in this video is make this spinning transition in Vegas Pro using a template and I will be showing you how to make everything from scratch. Uh, let's not waste any more time and let's begin. First thing is you wanna go to the ghoul drive that's linked in the description. These are the two clips used in the intro and if you need B cheeks or impacts, download these presets. The folder we're gonna download is this project file. As you can see here is all of the files that are in the template. So what you know do is right click and install this you know on your PC. And before we open up the template we actually need to edit two clips you know so it makes sense. Yeah, here I am in Vegas Pro, uh, here's the song that I'm gonna be using, and here's the clip that I will be using as well. So I'm gonna sync this to the song. Alright, so once it is synced, you can add a preset. So I'm gonna be using the 60fps good impact preset. Let's double click here, backspace minus 30, and apply it onto our clip. Once you got that, you gotta find the point where you want to start your transition. So usually this goes after the next beat, so... This is the next beat, this works perfectly, so let's mark this and shorten the video to this length. And now what we're gonna do is find our third beat, so this is gonna be the ending beat of the transition, so let's find that. Okay, so that beat is good and that's a good length for a transition, so make sure it's not too short but not too long. And now let's apply our second clip and sync it to the other kill, so... This beat is good for a kill, so I'm gonna sync it to this marker. Then we can apply an impact. Minus 30, good impact applied. So when you have something like this, you can move on to the template. So let's go to the template. Here's a project file. Uh, make sure all of the files are in the folder and then, you know, just open up the project file. Okay, so when you first open a template, you should see something like this. So what you want to do is go all the way up, and this track over here is the track that makes the transition. So as you can see, this looks like this, but if you unmute it, there's the transition. And as you can see, it goes in motion like that. So make sure you mute it. So now I'm going to show how to change the pictures. Uh, what you want to do is scroll down till you see these red tracks. And these are all the pictures that we can change. Now, the only ones I'm going to change is this one and this one. Because the other ones are, you know, these three in the middle. So let's go back, you know, to our clip project file. And let's take two pictures. So first picture I'm going to take is I'm going to go to the start of the transition. Go for a frame backwards so I can actually see the image. And click on this. Save snapshot to file. Save. And as you can see, this made a picture. Then you can go to the second one. So this is our second clip. We'll click the same button. Boom. And click save. Then here we have our two pictures, you can find them in your downloads folder over here. So now what you want to do is go back to your template, go to the downloads folder or wherever they save that, and just drag them in like that. So this is our first clip, and now let's say you want to change it, you know, this clip. So what you want to do is copy this one, then paste it onto the next one. Right click, paste. Now what you can do is uh, control X this. It'll paste it with this one and you're basically good to go. But anyways, here is a second clip picture and we're gonna change it with this one. As you can see it says last, so this is for the last, you know, clip. So let's copy and let's paste it onto the new one. Paste, we can remove the old one, it'll paste it with the new one and let's do this. And boom, as you can see we replaced the clip. And of course you can do the same with these three middle ones. Now I'm also gonna show you some other things. So let's say you don't like the background, you can always change it. So here we have the background. Uh, if you go to here, click on this button, you can actually change the color of this. So we can make this, you know, whatever we want. And now there's other things you can change as well. Like you can remove the birds over here. As you can see if you click mute, you know, it mutes them. And over here you can change the line color. Now, if you want to change the images, like these PNGs, like the flowers, I'll show you how to do that. For example, here we have a gun. Uh, what you want to do is right click, properties, media, uh, make, the, make sure the spring multiplies, so that's, you know, transparent. And let's say you want to replace it with the grass, so you don't like the grass, you want to replace it. So what you want to do is copy your grass or whatever you have and paste it onto your new PNG. And then, you know, you can remove your grass, replace it with this one. And you're kind of good to go. Make sure to you fix your, you know, new PNG. So you go to pan and crop. You go to the first point and basically right click, match output aspect. And once you do that, you can reposition your whatever you have here. And as you can see, now we have a gun on this instead of grass, which is pretty cool. 
And now we can finally make out our transition length. So to figure out how long your transition should be, uh, what you want to do is go back to your project and from above or below, drag it on the gap. What you want to do then is look over here and as you can see it says 1.29. Now this is very important. So if you are on 30 FPS, whatever this number is, that's your length of your transition. But if you are on 60 FPS like me over here, uh, what you want to do is whatever the last two digits are, you want to split them in half. So mine says 29 and that's not very good. So you want to know the two numbers to be dividable by two. So what I'm going to do is maybe decrease this by one and then drag it again. And now as you can see, it's 130. So if I divide this by two, it's 1.15. So my transition, if I'm on 60 FPS, if it says 130, it's going to be 1.15. I'm going to go back to here and basically I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Drag it over here. But this time instead of 130, whatever it said, do 115. Now if your transition is longer, then what you can do is, as you can see, there's, there are points over here. What you want to do, extend it. These are blur macros points. What you want to do is drag this point to the end of your transition, where, however long it is. And then you want to even everything out. You want to even out these points like that. And now, for example, if your transition is shorter, then let's say it's something like this. You can always drag these points backwards. Make sure the last point is, you know, where the transition will end. Now that's basically it. And if you want to remove the laggy feel of the transition, as you can see, if we unmute this, the transition will be laggy. And if you want to make it, you know, unlaggy, you want to double click on here and basically disable posterize time or make it less. So if we can disable it, it's going to be smooth. And if we enable it, it's going to have this laggy feel, which I like. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it again. 1.15. That's the amount we're rendering. So to render this, make sure to follow these steps as well. What you want to do is go to File, Render As. And before you render anything, you want to make sure it's at 1080p and 30 FPS. So with 1920 by 1080, FPS is 30. And yeah, that's about it. And then you can copy these other settings if you want to. Then just click OK. Name this whatever you want and click render. And once the render is finished, uh, what you want to do is go back to, you know, to your project and drag it in like that. So mine as you can see fits because I've done everything correctly. But that's how it looks like. And now what we're going to do is apply some beat cheeks. So what you want to do is make a new track like this. Go to where it starts over here and then go 15 frames backwards. So minus 15. Click M to mark it. And basically drag over this whole thing. Once it ends, keep on dragging, you know, make sure it's like 30 plus frames after. Then, once you've done that, click on File, Render As. And for this one, do the normal rendering method. Whatever your project resolution is, render at that. So mine's 1440p, that's 60 FPS. So let me render this out. All right, and render finished. Let's drag it on top. Let's remove the other track. And here we have this. So let's apply our first preset, which is going to be Transition Beat Shake. That's the first one and then at the end do the same thing. So go where it ends over here, go 15 frames backwards and split it, then apply it. And once you've applied it, then everything is good to go. So yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and comment how hard it was. If it was easy, drop a like. If it was hard, drop a comment, I guess. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.